Hey everybody, Sarah here from GimmeAct.com. Here we are today back in Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, grabbing the Pooh's Friend Achievement. This is to complete the optional 100 acre wood chapter. During your second visit to Traverse Town, you are going to have to head over to Sid in order to ask about Gummy Ship stuff. What's going to end up happening is he's going to hand you an old book to deliver to Merlin. This is all part of the story, so you can't really miss this. So basically, he gives you a book, then some story stuff's going to happen. No spoilers here. But you want to make sure you take this over to Merlin over at the Mystical House. He's going to give you the basic rundown on the book and then place it over by the bed. And then you're going to get some story related stuff dealing with summons and all that stuff. Once you finally get control of your character, head over to the bedside and then you can access the book. Whenever you access it, it's going to warp you over to the 100 acre wood, which is going to be the Winnie the Pooh world. Once you shrink down in size, make sure you head to the one and only landmark, which is going to be Eeyore's house, which is going to be on the right side of the right page next to the latch. You're going to get a cutscene where you're going to be introduced to Pooh, and then you can talk to him and then get your friendship out of the way. You can also skip it if you really want to. But once you get control of your character, feel free to grab the treasure chest in the log, and then you can leave, and then we will be done with the introduction chapter. So just return to the map, and then we are going to be given our next chapter over over here which is going to be Pooh's house so head over to the left and then make sure you head into the house that looks like a tree once you are here you can light the campfire on fire with your fire spell and then also head inside you can snoop around a bit there is going to be an item in the little medicine cabinet right here so make sure you open that up and then steal yourself an elixir but that's pretty much all you can do on this first visit. Make sure you leave and you should get a little explanation on how the rest of the world is going to work. So Owl is going to explain to you that there are going to be certain pages missing from the book and it's up to you to find these pages and then return them in order to further the 100 acre wood story. So feel free to leave by hitting up the compass and then we're going to actually get to where the torn pages are. So the first torn page can be found once you get to Agrabah. Once you head to the Cave of Wonders, make sure you head inside and then take the staircase down to the basement. Drop down and then what you want to do is you want to make sure you take this waterfall up to the dark chamber. Then you're going to get to a little strip of land where you can climb a staircase to get up to it. You have to go in from the entrance side. You cannot go from the save point side since there's no staircase to get up and pretty much you can't go from that side until you learn glide. But that is where the first torn page is. Whenever you find a torn page, feel free to head back to Traverse Town and then add it back to the book in the Magician's Study. So just fast travel back and you should be good. You can also wait until you have all the pages if you want to do the whole chapter in one go. So make sure you keep that in mind. But nonetheless, this first torn page is going to to unlock the honey tree right over here. Make sure you start it up. The honey tree is also going to be the first one that is going to contain a mini game. The entirety of the 100 acre wood chapter is going to be vital to the mini game maniac achievement, so keep that in mind. Most of the game's mini games are going to be located in certain sections of the 100 acre wood chapter. So back to this section, when you first start it up, you're going to be introduced to Piglet. He is basically going to run into the right side of the tree, and then every time you approach him, he's going to hide in this little shrub right here. So the key in order to talk to him is you want to make sure you head over to the left side of the tree and then just wrap around. Once you get past this part, what you want to do is you want to make sure you walk by just tilting the analog stick, not all the way, and then just slowly creep up on him. And then if you manage to approach him slowly from this side, you should be able to talk to him and then start the next cutscene. Pooh is going to show up and basically ask you if you can hook it up with some honey then you're going to be introduced to the first mini game which is going to be Pooh's honey tree pretty simple all you have to do is just make sure you swat the bees and then your goal is to basically prevent them from trying to pop his balloon so all you have to do is just make sure you wait for the bees to fly up make sure you lock on and then swing with your keyblade if you manage to land a successful hit, you should automatically bounce up to the branch that's going to be closest to you. And your goal is to basically just guard Pooh as he's trying to get honey. It's a pretty simple mini game, especially once you get up to the topmost branches. All you really have to do is just wait for the bees to get to about your level and then swing at the right time. Make sure you don't go too early because you will take a spill and then try your best not to let the camera mess you up. Other than that, my only advice is make sure you stay on the second highest branch. The reason for that is there are no beehives above the highest branch, so might as well stay closest to the highest beehive. And then all you do is just run out the three minutes. So be a little patient. You will get way more than enough honey with this strategy, and then you should be good once the clock elapses. Once it's done and you have managed to collect enough honey, you should get a cutscene and then complete this page. You should also be rewarded with an item in the form of Nature Spark, which is going to be the summon gem for Bambi. 
Moving on to the next page, it's going to be located in Monstro. From the mouth, what you want to do is you want to make sure you head into Chamber 1. I'm going to show you the fastest way to get there. Make sure you take the left path over to Chamber 2. You are going to drop down, and then what you want to do is you want to make sure you head to the next entrance, which is going to take you over to Chamber number 3. From here, what you want to do is you want to make sure you head into the next entrance, which is going to take you back to Chamber 2, but this time it's going to be on the upper part right here. Skip the enemies if you really want to. You are going to head into the next room anyways, which is going to be Chamber 5. Once you are in here, it's going to be a linear hallway, so just make sure you power through to get to Chamber 6. Once you are here, you are going to get another drop. Clear out the enemies. You want to make sure you have a barrel handy for this, so try to leave one barrel intact. Make sure you head up the makeshift staircase, and you want to make sure you have a barrel once you get to the top step. Make sure you drop the barrel over by this platform, and you are going to use the barrel to give yourself a little boost in order to get up. Of course, you can also reach this platform once you unlock high jump. However, if it is your first time here, you can obviously just use the barrel to give yourself that extra step, and then you can grab the torn page in this chest. Bring it back to the book, and it's going to unlock the next part over here in the upper left, which is going to be Rabbit's House. Make sure you head on over here. Then what you want to do is you want to make sure you cross the stream and the vegetable patch to get into the house. You are going to get some cutscene stuff, of course, and then that's going to basically take you to the back of the house. And then you are going to run in to Piglet and Pooh, who are going to try to break in to the hole. So once you get that out of the way, just make sure you head back around. The house should now be open ton of story stuff is going to happen but eventually once you get in the house make sure you look up here in the rafters for the honey Pooh is going to steal it and then basically he's going to start eating it that's going to be your cue to leave before you step out you are going to return to the house and notice that Pooh is going to be stuck in the hole so feel free to leave again and this time what you want to do is you want to make sure you check back on the front side of Pooh. so make sure you head back around the house and you will notice that he is out here Rabbit's going to give you the idea to basically free him by feeding him some vegetable juice. So make sure you get through that, and then you should get a cutscene where you meet Tigger, and then basically you are going to be tasked with the minigame to defend the carrots. It's another pretty simple minigame. All you have to do is just use the rush feature. So just hit the Y button. It should rush to wherever Tigger is going to land. It's not exactly perfect all the time. However, it is the best way to get through this minigame. And of course, you do not need to be absolutely perfect. You just need to get enough carrots in order to pass so just make sure you hit the Y button and make sure you time it as he's throwing off his jump and you should rush to the appropriate carrot and just keep doing this until the time runs out so once you manage to save enough carrots you should get another mini game out of the way and then you are going to get some more cutscene stuff and complete yet another chapter so in order to start that make sure you head back inside and then you're going to interact with Pooh's bottom side and then you should free him in another whimsical cutscene and then once that's over you we should be rewarded with yet another torn page prize this one is going to be a mithril shard on to the next torn page this one's going to be located in Atlantica during the Atlantica story Ariel is going to take you over to her grotto to show you some stuff once you get through all of that you are going to get control of your character there's going to be a ton of chests in here but the one that is going to contain the torn page is going to be the topmost one so float on up and then make sure you open it right over here once you have it, feel free to head back to Traverse Town whenever you want to start the next part. So this one is going to be located in the bottom right. It's going to be this tree overlooking this bridge right here. Start it up. Once you start it up, you are going to meet all your pals. And then Eeyore is going to come floating in. Make sure you hop in the river in order to stop him from floating away. And then basically he's going to tell you that he's missing his tail. Talking to Owl is going to give you the instructions on how to control Poo. Basically, you're going to lock onto him and he should fall follow you wherever you go, barring any obstacles, so try your best not to get him stuck. Your goal is to try to lead him to the top of the hill where the tree is, so just keep pulling him forward, be a little patient, and try not to let him get stuck. Once you get him up here, you're going to start the next mini game in the form of Pooh's Swing. Basically, you need to hit the right bumper, and then you need to try to get enough distance with Pooh in order to find Eeyore's tail. For this first go around, your timing basically wants to be to hit the right bumper whenever Al flaps his wings, and your goal for that is to try to get a distance of between 20 and 25 meters. If you happen to get the timing right and the distance right as a result, you should break Eeyore's house and find his tail, and you should be given your next prize, which is going to be an upgrade to your 
stop spell. Then on to the next torn page. This one is going to be found in Halloween Town. It's going to be found towards the beginning of this chapter, so feel free to grab it and then head back to Traverse Town right away. But head into Guillotine Square and then head into the lab. Once you are there, you are going to find it on the doctor's shelf. So just make sure you look for it right over here and then just grab it and then feel free to take this one back. And then the next part is going to be right over here. It's going to be this tree stump area. Start it up. This one is going to involve Tigger and Rue, so make sure you talk to them in order to start this multifaceted minigame. First one's going to be Tigger's Bounce. It's basically going to be Simon Says, where Rue and Tigger are going to hop a pattern, and then you are supposed to repeat it. It's pretty simple, and it never changes, so this first one's going to be just a straight shot taking the left path. Be a little careful on your jumps. You do not have access to high jump nor glide during these minigames, so be a little mindful of your regular distance jump. On to the second one, what you want to do is you want to jump forward, then you want to make sure you jump back, and then jump back to the start, forming a triangle. Then back onto the main route, so make sure you head forward again. This time, however, whenever you reach the last stump, make sure you jump to the one stump that we left alone, and then back to the last one, and then that should finish this one up, which is going to give us one last set of Simon Says that we need to do. This one's going to be a little complicated, but also simple. All you really have to do is just jump onto the seesaw right here. You should bounce up and then land on this tree, then very carefully lower yourself down to this stump right here. It should be the first one of the main path, and then just take the main path forward, and that should wrap that one up. Be very careful of your landing, obviously. The camera can mess you up if you aren't careful. And that should finish the first minigame. Then the second minigame is going to be Tigger's Giant Pot. Your goal for this one is to hit the nuts as they are falling out of the pot while trying to stay on the stump. It's a little hard to get the timing down right, but basically your goal is to jump and then do a sweep in order to hit the nuts back. So if you have the aerial sweep ability, make sure you equip it and this should help a ton. Once you get the timing down though, it should be a breeze, and then all you have to do is just hit seven nuts back, since each one is going to count for three. So once you manage to fill out the bar, you should complete yet another mini game, and that's going to wrap up the story. This one's not going to have a grand end cutscene, you are free to float around here for a bit, so you can grab the treasure chest underneath where the pot was. You can also find some rare nuts in order to trade to Al for some rare items, and there is going to be a dark matter hidden around here, which is going to be very useful, especially for for the synthesis related achievements. So make sure you grab all of those if you really want to, but those are optional. Return to the map in order to finish up this section and you should be given the next prize in the form of a mithril. As for the last torn page, this one is going to require that you have rescued at least 51 of the 99 Dalmatian puppies. If you need help with that, you can always refer to our Dalmatians guide. Nonetheless, once you have rescued enough puppies, make sure you hit up the Dalmatians house in the second district of Traverse Town. Once you are inside, you should be given a myriad of prizes. Your prizes for hitting 51 puppies should be the next torn page. Grab it alongside the rest of your puppy prizes from the gift box, and then we're going to take this back in order to start the last chapter, which is going to be right here in the bottom left. Once you start up, you are going to notice Pooh is going to be walking in circles. What you want to do is you want to make sure you stop him, and then eventually you are going to lead him to the middle of this bush he's circling. And then inside, you are going to meet Eeyore. Eeyore is going to give the bright suggestion of gathering everyone up in this makeshift house, and that's going to start the last mini game of the 100 Acre Wood chapter, which is going to be Pooh's Muddy Path. It's basically going to be hide and seek with all of the Pooh characters. First thing you want to do is you want to make sure you head into the area and then just make sure you head on over here. You're going to notice that there's going to be three holes in the wall right here. And then every now and again, Rabbit is going to pop out. To find a character, all you have to do is just approach them and then hit the Y button to talk to them. So for Rabbit, you kind of want to be a little patient. Just make sure you wait around here until he pokes his head out. Then make sure you quickly talk to him before he can go back into hiding. And then after talking to a character, you should send them back over to the house. So once you get Rabbit, out of the way we are going to continue on make sure you jump into the well right here it's going to push you up with this updraft and you can see all of the characters in the background and we're going to get them one at a time so first one up is going to be tigger tigger is pretty self-explanatory just bouncing up and down across this log make sure you grab him now, unfortunately, one of the next characters is going to require that you have Pooh with you. So what you're going to have to do is you have to make sure you bring him all the way up to the top level. And that's going to require you to make the path safe. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you take the well up and then drop down on the right side of the log. Make sure you lock on to the beehive and then cast fire in order to plug up the log. That should allow Pooh to cross safely. 
Head over to the left side of the log and make sure you lock on to Pooh and then drag him until he hits the wall. He should interact with these flowers which is going to allow him to float on up and then land on this platform. Then what you want to do is you want to make sure you follow him so make sure you take the well back. Be very careful not to re-lock on to him as soon as he gets off. The reason for that is you don't want him walking off the cliff and then having you start the whole thing all over. Once you get off, make sure you hop onto the log and then make sure you lock on to Pooh. Then what you want to do is you want to make sure you cross the log while locking onto him and he should follow you across. Again, be very careful not to fall off or else he will fall off and follow you. Once you get him to the other side, make sure you jump up to the highest level. Make sure you lock on to Pooh and then you are supposed to drag him up this cliff. Again, you are going to lead him to the cliff face where he will interact with these flowers in order to float on up. And then once he's down, you should have him exactly where you want him. All you have to do is just drag him over to this hole in the tree and then Pooh is going to lure Piglet out. So they're going to have a little conversation and then eventually Piglet should sum up the courage in order to teleport down to the lowest level. So we are going to catch back up with him later. While we are up here, we are going to talk to Al who's going to fly back and forth. Every now and again, he's going to land in this corner. So be a little patient. Once he lands, make sure you talk to him and then that should add the next buddy over to the makeshift house. So do so and then while we are over here we can grab Rue on this tree root. You are going to need to jump and swing hit the tree root and that should drop Rue down. It might take a few goes but eventually he should fall down and then you should be free to talk to him. Once you do that should send him back and then all we have to do to wrap up is grab Piglet over by the hole. So make sure you talk to him that should pull him back. Pooh should also automatically warp over here so that should be everyone of the group and that should wrap round out the mini game and then you should get your final time should take about four minutes or so and then after that you should get your final cutscene, which is going to wrap up the world allowing you to seal the keyhole and get your achievement 15 gamer score and that's all there is to it